Hello guys, welcome to another fun flip through plus pick a card reading. Let me show you the past life oracle deck. This is by Doreen Virtue. It's a total of 44 cards. And for today's reading, we are going to uncover your past life lessons. Now, if you can't wait, you can go ahead and jump right in to the timestamps below. Okay. All right. Let's begin with the flip through. We have trust and faith. Biblical, wars and battles, monk or nun, Celtic, scribe or writer, phobias, lessons and blessings. Wow, high priest or priestess, very powerful. Imprisonment or slavery, wisdom. Communal living. Aw, unrequited love. Wow, Egypt. I was actually the princess of Egypt in my previous lifetime in which I was healing spiritual warfare. Oh, you got persecution and inquisition. Spouse. Galactic. Love life. Leaving or travel. Knighthood. Health, ships, karmic relationship, wow, medicine man or woman, authority figures, Greco-Roman, Native American, food and hunger, spirituality and religion, finances, transportation, orphan, trees wow this is so beautiful vows i just love the imagery it's really vintage forgiveness wow this is so cute baby father mother farm male female the arts asia Atlantis. And finally, we have Angels. Wow, I just love all 44 cards. And again, today's Pick A Card, we are going to uncover your past life lessons. But before we do that, let me show you the options. This is group number one, and that is Buddha Cinnabar. Group number two, we have the Dragon Tortoise Cinnabar. And finally, we have group number three, and this is also the Dragon Cinnabar. So those are the three options. Choose which one you're drawn to, and you may pause if you also need it sometime. Hello, group number one. You chose the Buddha Cinnabar. So let's try to find out what are your past life lessons. Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for this reading, please. I am going to pull up four cards from this past life oracle deck since this is a general reading. All right, do you have here finances? Next, you have here Orphan. Next, you have, oh, Unrequited Love. Group number one. And the last one we have here, wars and battles. Okay, interesting. You have two of pentacles. You have princess of swords.
you have the Wheel of Fortune. You have Princess of Cups. You have Nine of Pentacles. You have King of Cups. Judgment. And you got two of pentacles. You actually got it twice. So I'm now definitely seeing that your past life lesson, group number one, it had something to do with balance, okay? Balance is actually what I'm definitely seeing here. So for a lot of you, I'm actually picking up some of you. Um, I'm actually hearing Egypt, okay? I'm actually hearing Egypt. And for some reason, I don't know why I'm hearing Armenia, okay? That is very specific, so I don't know. But I'm actually picking up in your previous lifetime, majority of you, you were actually a female, okay? I am actually picking up this very strong lifetime of a woman who's actually different from the rest of the women, okay? This person is somebody who wanted to have this balance okay like she felt during that lifetime that it was imbalanced in such a way that men are given more opportunities than women okay so she doesn't want to be um yeah the rest of the female species she doesn't want to be doing the work of a woman like getting married and then eventually doing all the household chores taking good care of the kids okay this woman that i'm picking up in a previous lifetime was somebody who's very strong very independent very brave okay not to say that she is a tomboy she is still a woman but it's just that she believes that there should be um there's that issue around equality you know being equal like she wanted women to be given the same opportunity as men because during that lifetime she felt as if men are given more opportunities I also feel for some of you with the wars and battles, I'm getting that you were actually um, a female warrior. No kidding. You were a female warrior. That's really what I'm getting. Um, you're not like the rest of the women out there, okay? Because you want to be different. You want to be doing something that is different from the rest of the women during that lifetime, okay? Because you think different. You're very brave. You're very strong. And you are very much concerned about um, fairness. That's really what I'm getting. Because things weren't actually fair. Um, in your mind, you feel that, again, men are given more opportunities than um, women. And so I feel in this current lifetime, a lot of you guys who chose group number one, especially uh, for women watching this um, video, I feel that some of you are definitely struggling when it comes to relationships, okay? That is because um, you exude this very powerful energy. You are a very independent, strong woman. Um, not to say that you're not submissive. I feel that you are, but you have this very dominating energy about you, kind of like a guy. And I am actually hearing that a lot of you are kind of like, yeah, struggling because men are intimidated by your personality. Okay, I'm actually hearing intimidating personality, honestly. Perhaps it's because you're so strong. You're not like the rest of the women out there. And again, not to say you're not submissive, but you're a very independent woman. Some of you are probably more focused on your career because I am getting that even in your previous lifetime, you're very ambitious, okay? You're very ambitious, very assertive, okay? So I feel that in this current lifetime, your past life lesson is to balance the male, female energies. Because each of us, we have divine masculine and feminine energies. That's what I'm getting. For some of you, you have finances here. So I feel there's also, um, an, yeah, some element of imbalance 
when it comes to money, even in your previous lifetime, either you are giving more, okay, and you're not receiving anything, or there's an imbalance when it comes to giving money. That's also what I'm getting for some of you, all right? But the strongest one that I'm picking up is this energy of somebody who is actually like a female warrior. That was so powerful. I really, really picked that up. And I feel like what I said um, in this current lifetime, some of you are struggling when it comes to relationships because most men would see you as somebody that they cannot control. Because a lot of men, right, they wanted to be in control, okay? And like what I said, it's not to say that you will never be submissive, but yeah, they're kind of like put off by that very strong um, energy. So the lesson here is balance, okay? Your past life lesson had something to do with balance. Um, maybe that's also why you got unrequited love. Because I feel in that lifetime, even during that lifetime, men are kind of like scared of you, okay? So there's that element of unrequited love. I'm also picking up that for some of you with the orphan card here, um, I'm getting that... Yeah, you actually lost your father. I'm actually getting a father. Like, you felt abandoned by your father. And some of you are probably struggling with your relationship with a father. Some of you. That's also what I'm hearing right now. Maybe in this current lifetime, you feel that your father was not there with you all the time. So I'm getting that. I'm hearing that right now. Like, somebody is kind of, like, having some issues with their dad. Because their dad was never there for them. Like, they... like their father abandoned them okay and that was tied to a previous lifetime guys that's what i'm hearing hmm maybe the man that you're in love with for some of you right now was your father in a previous lifetime who left you behind that's what i'm hearing too but definitely this had something to do with balance guys very strong balance okay let's see what else are we going to pull up very interesting I actually heard Armenia. I don't know where that is, though, but I know it's a place. That was strong. I heard Armenia and Egypt for some of you. Oh, boy. Past life reading is actually very, you know, difficult. It's not easy, I tell you guys. Whew. Anything else, spirit? You have Messenger of Water. hero ten of water okay wow base chakra huh Interesting how it's correlating with... Oh, boy. This is so amazing. Haven't you noticed? Majority of the cards you're getting, it's a woman. So this is correlating with what I picked up. You're definitely a woman in your previous lifetime, even if you're a guy watching this. So if you're actually a male watching this, sometimes you probably got, you know, some feedback from other people like, hey, dude, you're like a woman, you know, in such a way that maybe sometimes you're emotional. 
I don't know, somebody needed to hear that. But that was also because in a previous lifetime, you were actually a woman. Now, let's say you are actually um, gay, okay, in this current lifetime. That was because you were a woman in a, pre in a previous lifetime, okay? Somebody needed to hear that. Oh boy. Okay, what else? You got nature, Gaia. Oops. Let me actually, that's a blank card. You got Prince. Nice. Oh my God, look at that. Broken heart and unrequited love. Oh boy. Heavy, 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 I tell you. Okay, vulnerability. Meditate and contemplate. Okay. All right. So what I'm definitely seeing, which is really awesome, it's still correlating with what was already discussed earlier. Okay. Let's start off with finances. Okay. You got the base chakra. Base chakra is actually talking about security. Okay. And the opposite of that would be fear. So some of you are probably having some fears around money. Like you always feel that, oh my gosh, um, how am I going to pay the bills? You know, you always are struggling when it comes to money. Okay, there's something around security, financial security. And that was actually even rooted back to your previous lifetime. Either because in your previous lifetime, there was an imbalance when it comes to money. And this is what... Um, your lifetime is also trying to teach you, okay? You're being taught when it comes to balancing your money, balancing your finances, okay? And not being in this lack energy as well, because I could actually sense for some of you, you are struggling. You are always in this energy of, how am I going to pay the bills? Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, you know, I'm actually drained right now. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. I really feel that a lot of you chose group number one. You're also very much battling with financial issues or there's that, yeah, not to say scarcity, but there's that energy of feeling of insecurity, okay, when it comes to money. Now, when the orphan card actually popped out, what I actually pick up, like a father, there was a father-daughter issue that's really what I'm getting. And I feel that in that previous lifetime, you were left behind, not a mom, it's a dad who left you behind. So I'm hearing that for some of you in this current lifetime, you're probably struggling with a relationship with your dad. Okay. And that was because in the previous lifetime, this person actually left you behind. Okay. Maybe in that previous lifetime, he was not your father. You can also flip the roles. Maybe in that lifetime you were lovers, okay? For some of you, you were lovers. And now he is actually your dad in this current lifetime. But there's that energy of, yeah, like pain, hurt, brokenhearted. You know, you, you're feeling like your father was never there for you, okay? That's what I'm getting for some of you. You can also flip that. That maybe um, the person that you're in love with right now, you felt abandoned by this person because for some of you, that person was your father who also left you behind. I'm actually getting that karmic cycle that kept on repeating for some of you. Oh boy, this is such a heavy reading actually. And then you got unrequited love. What I'm actually getting with the unrequited love, 
I am getting that maybe for some of you, you might be feeling as if that when it comes to love, you're struggling, okay? You're struggling when it comes to love. Um, also picking up in a previous lifetime, um, I got that female warrior, okay? And I really feel that even in that lifetime, she was actually struggling when it comes to relationships because men are kind of like scared by her power, by her strength, because I'm getting that female warrior. So again, it had something to do with balance, all right? Um, I'm also hearing that for some of you, maybe, um, you got vulnerability here. So weakness. All right. Some of you are probably feeling weak. Okay. You're feeling weak. You're actually feeling that, um, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to love, um, you get emotionally down all the time, or you get easily affected, or you, you are in this broken heart energy, maybe because some of you are still experiencing that um, feeling of abandonment or that unrequited love. Okay, what you are being taught, group number one, is that you have to see yourself differently. Do not look at yourself as the victim all the time. Do not look at yourself as if you are an orphan, okay? Because look at this. You got to your never-ending story. It's a cycle that kept on repeating for you. And this is actually teaching you, group number one, to end that cycle, to see yourself differently, okay? Because sometimes what was conditioned to you, especially during childhood, sometimes we need to unlearn that. That's also what I'm hearing right now. Some of you are probably struggling with this um, abandonment issue because probably in this lifetime you were abandoned by a caregiver, uh, a parent, or somebody that you truly love, and you still carry that with you. Because this is talking about unnecessary drama or conflicts, okay? And the lesson for you, group number one, you need to release that. You need, you need to release any hurt, this feeling of victimhood. See yourself differently, okay? Because this card is really talking about something that was conditioned to you or some beliefs or you are thinking of yourself as if you are um, pitiful, okay? This is also talking about wounded ego, okay? And then kind of like self-sabotage. So get yourself out of that energy. That's your past life lesson that you needed to know, okay? You got to meditate and contemplate. Try to ground your energies as well, okay? I'm also hearing somebody's overly emotional all the time for group number one. If you find yourself overly emotional, try to use your logic. If I allow myself to be in this emotions, yes, I am a human being. I am allowed to feel. But you make sure that there's balance. That's why your past life lesson had something to do with balance. Because some of you, um, you are actually putting all of your focus on your emotions. Like overly being overly emotional, okay? That sometimes you're out of place already. Your energies are out of place. That's why they want you to ground yourself. Just like with the nature here. To ground yourself. Protect yourself, Okay? Remain connected to yourself because I'm getting that sometimes you're out of yourself, especially whenever you get too emotional. And try to see yourself differently, okay? Spirit wanted me to read this to you guys, okay? All right, sure. I don't normally read it from the guidebook, but they wanted me to read that to you. Before we wrap things up, let's go to page 37. Because they wanted me to read that so you would better understand why this never-ending story is also here, okay? Never-ending story, what did I say? Self-criticism, exactly. The wounded ego, unnecessary dramas, didn't I say that, right? So it says here, there is a story woven through the imperfect fabric of life that tells of hurt and loss rejection and humiliation, self-loathing and arrogance, and all manner of suffering born of unnecessary dramas. It is the old story whose refrain is that you cannot do this, must not go there, should not say that, lest your world come crumbling down. Today, know that none of this is actually true. The sky is not falling. 
The voice you hear is just a small, scared, conditioned part of you that got stuck in a lie, wants to protect you, and needs to be seen as a victim. Exactly. Didn't I say get out of that victim energy? Oh my God. Love that lost piece of you. Fear is all it knows. Exactly. We're talking about fear. Distorted guidance is preventing you from being true to yourself. You are not your story. And the narrator is simply the voice of your fearful part, small and vulnerable and easily soothed. Now, let's go to relationship because he also got unrequited love here, okay? It says here, sometimes your heart enters into a contract with another that results in pain, not because of abuse or neglect, but for other more complex reasons. Shame, fear of intimacy, and low self-esteem are the greatest challenges to the success of a relationship. Consider how valuable this knowledge is. However, right now you have an opportunity for important healing, but you must reflect on the stories you weave about love, connection, abandonment, rejection, and loneliness. Not only do you need to begin a new story, you need to forgive yourself for telling yourself the old ones. Have compassion for the part of you that believes all those narratives. None of them were ever true anyway. Exactly, guys. Try to see yourself differently. You know, try to write a brand new story. Why are you getting stuck in that old story that you're telling about yourself? Some of you guys are in this um, a very strong victim energy, feeling victimized, feeling sorry for yourself. Oh, poor me. You know, if you love yourself, right, you won't allow yourself or you don't want to see yourself in that story, right? That's why create a brand new story about who you are. You have the power to do that. Remember, in your previous lifetime, you are a hero, okay? Especially if you're a warrior, because I'm picking up a lifetime of a female warrior, or maybe even if you're a guy during that lifetime, you are a hero because you fought with courage. You are very strong. So why not create a brand new story in this lifetime instead of seeing yourself in a very sorry state? Okay, feeling abandoned, feeling rejected, you got unrequited love. So that's also your past life lesson. In this lifetime, you might be in this energy of, oh, poor me, I got abandoned. I've been with several men and they keep on leaving me behind. So spirit is saying, get out of that mentality. None of them were true. Also, try to ask yourself, are you loving that energy? Or are you really complaining about it? Or are you really like talking about it because, you know, you felt bad, which is normal. You're a human being. Or is it because this time you're loving that? Make sure it's balanced. Make sure energies are balanced, group number one. Okay. Oh, boy. What a heavy reading. But, <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm getting for a lot of you. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this reading gave you some lessons or gave you some clarity about who you were in your previous lifetime. What do you need to learn? What do you need to improve within yourself? Because you have the power to change, all right? Let's try to do something about the controllables, okay? Let's try to do something about the controllables. That's a message I will be leaving to you guys. All right, so thank you so much, group number one. I send you all the love and light. Bye-bye now. Hello, group number two. You chose the Dragon Tortoise Cinnabar. So let's try to uncover your past life lessons. We're going to pull four cards from this past life oracle deck since it's a general reading. Spare guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for this reading, please. You got wisdom. Wow, you got baby. You have, wow, this is so freaking beautiful. Medicine man or woman. 
hello to the healers out there i was also a medicine woman in my previous lifetime he got ships okay You have the lovers. You have the hangman. Gosh, a lot of spiritual people. Pick number two. Interesting. Princess of Swords. Oops, a lot of cards. You got two of pentacles. Death. Five of Cups. Page of Pentacles. I actually heard a lot of you chose group number two. For some of you, you died on a ship. Okay. All right. Hmm. Interesting. I'm actually hearing Ireland. Ooh. And then he got the hermit. <laughs> I just love how the cards are all correlating. Oh boy, group number two, I love your reading. You were definitely a very spiritual person in your previous lifetime, especially with the wisdom card here. You were a hermit, okay? So a person, a man, I'm actually picking up a man. You were a man in your previous lifetime. Somebody who is actually very spiritual, very knowledgeable, okay? You have a lot of wisdom. I'm also picking up a lot of you guys who chose group number two. You were actually spiritual healers, okay? Medicine man or medicine woman. And I'm getting all the goosebumps right now. Oh, my God. Hold on. Oh, boy. I'm getting a lot of, yeah, tingling sensation in my crown chakra. But anyway, you were a person who loves to learn, okay? Maybe in this current lifetime, you're also a person who's very studious. You love to learn a lot of information, a lot of things. A lot of you chose group number two are also healers, even in this current lifetime watching this. Healers, I'm actually hearing healers, psychics, very spiritual, very knowledgeable. You are an old soul for sure, okay? However, for some of you I'm picking up, there was a struggle when it comes to relationships, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Let's actually focus on that. Because I feel in your previous lifetime, if you were a hermit, okay, or a person who is actually um, very spiritual, very knowledgeable, your main focus during that lifetime was your duty. It's kind of like a monk, you know? Like, you're very spiritual, you were not interested in any type of relationship. Like, I'm talking about, like, yeah, like having, it's not platonic. It's more like um, romantic relationships. You were never interested. So I feel even in this current lifetime, some of you are struggling when it comes to love relationships. Because even in your previous lifetime, your main priority or focus, it had something to do with helping people, imparting your knowledge or your wisdom. For some of you with a baby, I'm actually hearing that, um, there was some traumatic experience that you had when you were a baby, which was also related to your previous lifetime. Um, that's what I'm getting. For some of you, you died uh, when you were a baby in your previous lifetime, okay? It was, your life was cut short. That's what I'm getting. I'm also hearing for some of you, you died on a ship. That's also what I'm picking up. And I'm also hearing that if you were a medicine woman, for some of you, uh, what I'm getting is that you actually died, honestly. You actually died or killed because 
even though you are doing the work um, to heal people, to help people, they viewed what you're doing as something wrong, which is more of like the work of the devil. And I feel that you were killed on that lifetime. You were judged and you were hanged. That's really what I'm getting, okay? But a lot of you actually chose group number two. My gosh, very spiritual people, okay? So hello to all the psychics and healers out there. A lot of healers. That's what I'm getting. Somebody watching this video is actually very, yeah, strong healers, okay? You are definitely an old soul, okay? Your dedication to spirit was, you know, amazing. Very amazing. And that's why when it comes to relationships, you're kind of like not, you know, either struggling or you're not really particularly interested. Some of you are still single right now. That's what I'm getting. But there's a lot of sadness. I'm actually picking up sadness for some of you. I'm also, yeah, okay. I'm also hearing, like, yeah, hold on, <laughs> a lot of information. Okay, they're wanting me to say some of you were definitely shaman, okay, shaman. And I'm also hearing that for some of you, there's a lot of sadness because I'm picking up this lifetime of a person who's actually a spiritual advisor, a counselor. I'm getting that. Like, your main priority or focus was to actually, yeah, impart your knowledge. However, okay, all right. So, you actually left someone behind that you actually love. It was a difficult choice for you. It was like you were put in a situation in which you have to decide whether are you going to um, continue with your journey as a spiritual tr or trusted advisor or choose this person that you love I felt as if like you abandoned that person you chose that's really what I'm hearing like there's a choice you were given a choice to be with this person that you love for some of you you never fell in love like your main prayer it's like you're a priest that's what I'm getting like you are really dedicated to your spiritual spiritual work spirituality and then for some of you um, you fell in love with someone but then at the end of the day, you chose. You're kind of like a high priest or priestess for some of you. That's what I'm getting. And then, gosh, a lot of information. I'm hearing shaman. I'm hearing high priest or priestess. Okay. <laughs> Hold on with the information. And then I'm also picking up this one particular energy in which you were given a choice whether to be with this woman that you love because you were a man, definitely, in a previous lifetime. But you chose your journey, um, your spiritual journey, in which you have to impart your knowledge. You chose that. You're very much passionate about that. So for some of you, even in this current lifetime, you're struggling, okay? So there's something about making a choice. That's also your past life lessons, okay? Maybe a lot of you guys are struggling with choices. Maybe you're having a hard time deciding, okay? That's also what I'm getting, okay? And some of you actually um, died in a ship. That's really what I'm getting. For some of you, you died as early as you were a little baby. Yeah, that's what I'm getting for some of you. But there's a lot of sadness too. Oh boy, this past life reading is really challenging, I tell you. It's not easy. Okay. Let's see what else. Five of fire. Mmm. Interesting. Okay. You have here ten or no, nine of fire. And then he got here seven of ear. Boy. Peace. Hmm. 
Wow, power. Oh boy. You have trust. Detective. Definitely a lot of psychics for group number two. Who chose group number two? You guys are even psychics, tarot readers, healers. Your intuition is really powerful. Adjacent possibilities. By the way, I'm actually hearing some of you have phobias when it comes to bodies of water and then ships. Yeah, I'm hearing that because you actually died in a ship. There was a very traumatic experience in your previous lifetime wherein you also died in a ship, okay? Got waterfall, effortless. I noticed for group number two, there's a lot of traumas and phobias, okay? I'm hearing that. I don't know why. I'm hearing traumas and phobias. So maybe there's a lot of, maybe you've been also having some dreams and then suddenly you would wake up um, because you're being triggered by that traumatic experience you've had in a previous lifetime. Prosperity lies ahead. Nice. Okay. All right. So again, I am definitely seeing um, this is still correlating with what I already picked up on the first set of cards that in your previous lifetime, you were a person who is very knowledgeable. Look at this guy holding a book. OK, you're always the type of person who wanted to seek the truth. OK, a hermit, a very spiritual person, a high priest or a priestess. You have the book of knowledge with you, okay? So I am actually picking up a lot of you in this current lifetime are practitioners, okay? Practitioners, spiritual practitioners, healers. That's really what I'm getting. Because like what I said, even in your previous lifetime, you were already, you know, doing that, okay? And I really feel a lot of the images I'm seeing is mostly men. So I feel that, like what I said, you were a man in your previous lifetime. If you're a woman right now, you were a man in your previous lifetime, okay? But there's a lot of hurt. I feel it had something to do with truth as well. I feel that with whatever you're sharing, the wisdom that you're sharing, as well as if you were a healer during that lifetime, there was some lies that were said about you. For majority of you, that's what I'm hearing. Either you are judged as someone who's doing some dark rituals, you were a witch, okay? You're saying that you're doing the work of the evil, that's also what I'm getting, which is totally untrue. That's why I could actually hear lies. There were some lies that were said about you, okay? And that really did hurt you. Because a lot of you um, who can resonate with, you were a medicine woman, you were a healer, a psychic in your previous lifetime, you got killed. Okay, you got persecuted, you got killed, you were hanged, I heard that, or you got burned. So some of you probably had traumas or phobias when it comes to fire, and I'm hearing for some of you ships, because some of you are not, we're not psychics, but I'm actually picking a lot of energy, so bear with me, okay? But some of you had traumas when it comes to ships or bodies of water, but if you were psychic, in your previous lifetime, there's something about fire. Some of you are kind of like, you know, yeah, easily triggered by that because some of you were burned, okay, or hanged. 
And that was so unfortunate because you were actually helping people. Yet they actually, <laughs> yeah, that's sad that you're helping people and yet you were viewed as someone evil. That's so sad. You know, I could resonate with that because that also happened to me in my previous lifetime. I was also persecuted because I was doing some esoteric practices. So I could definitely resonate, okay? That's why I love group number two. And I could sense a lot of spiritual people watching group number two, very knowledgeable people. So yes, um, that's the sad part. There was a lot of pain, okay? A lot of sadness, there were a lot of lies. When you all just wanted to, you know, promote peace, okay? You are a peace-loving individual. You wanted to promote peace, create peace, okay? You're kind of like an earth angel as well. That's what I'm hearing. You're a very powerful individual. For some of you, not necessarily psychic, but I'm getting a spiritual person who's actually, you know, um, very passionate in imparting his knowledge to people. Again, dealing with people. However, one of your past life lessons, aside from the traumas that I'm actually hearing, it had something to do with trust, okay? Trusting yourself. Some of you are probably, uh, yeah, I'm hearing some of you are actually very careful around people. You're very guarded. Some of you are not showing your true selves or you're scared to show everything because in your previous lifetime, again, there was trauma because you we're doing something that is very good to help people, yet you were still judged. So that kind of like created a negative impact for you in such a way that you're more guarded this time. You are more careful. You're wearing a veil. That's re really what I'm picking up. Like you're very guarded. Some of you are actually kind of like very um, sensitive when it comes to the judgment of other people. I'm hearing judgment, so maybe there, you receive a lot of judgment as well in this current lifetime, and it's the same thing. In your previous lifetime, you were judged, okay, as a witch or a person doing, you know, uh, the work of the devil, when in fact you weren't like that. Totally the opposite, because the way I sense that you were a very, very, yeah, like a helpful, a healer, a person that is a light worker. That's what I'm getting. So it's really sad how you were actually treated and how they created lies about you. So there's something around judgment, spreading lies. And that's why even in this current lifetime, you're kind of like very guarded. You have trust issues for a lot of you when it comes to people as well. Because there were some false information. I'm hearing false, false information that was spread about you. Some of you, the lesson that you needed to hear right now, past life lessons, trust yourself. Because you're a very magical, powerful person. But some of you are still struggling when it comes to confidence. You don't trust who you are. You don't trust your abilities. Okay? And Spirit is saying that's your past life lesson. And that's the lesson you needed to learn, even in this current lifetime, trusting your abilities, trusting yourself. Why can't you trust yourself when you were a very powerful individual in your previous lifetime? You were a shaman, you were a healer, a person who holds the book of knowledge. Very powerful, you even got the power card. So it's really sad that some of you watching this, you have a lot of potentials. But because you have trust issues or because you do not trust your own capabilities and abilities, you're trying to dim yourself. Don't dim your lie. Don't hide yourself. That's really what I'm hearing. I also feel, again, that, yes, create, still create that balance when it comes to giving your trust to others. Do not give your trust to others lightly. That's true. Be balanced when it comes to that. But don't be too overly cautious because you're putting a lot of walls, okay? Huh. Wow. Because I can't blame you because in your previous lifetime, that's what happened. That's why a lot of you are having some trust issues. Some of you are having trust issues when it comes to your security, okay? That maybe what you're doing, um, you're not earning as much, especially if you've been doing something, you know, that is by donation. You're scared about your finances. Spirit is saying prosperity will always be there with you, okay? Continue doing the work, especially if you're a healer right now watching this, a psychic watching this right now. Keep doing what you're doing. 
Keep spreading your light. Don't dim your light. Keep spreading it. You're a very powerful person. Some of you, the past life lesson had something to do with choice. You're having a hard time deciding. Okay. Oh boy. Some of you are, again, like what I said, very guarded. And I, I notice as well for group number two, you probably encounter a lot of people who said a lot of nasty stuff about you. Okay. Arguing you or trying to say that you're wrong or, you know, I don't believe in your abilities. I'm getting that. So spirit is saying, let go of that. Do not take it personally. And also remember, if you lost something, there's always going to be another door that's gonna op that's gonna be open up for you. So just trust. There's something about trust, okay? And this reading for group number two: trust and have faith. Trust and universe's plan for you, okay? Wow, I just love group two's reading. It's my favorite. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Um, that's who you were in a previous lifetime and the lesson that you actually needed to learn. So, yes, keep sharing your wisdom. Keep imparting it. Yes, create that balance. Do not give your trust likely to other people because that's what you did in a previous lifetime. You were very trusting and then you got betrayed in such a way you were actually judged and then you got canned or killed or burned that's sad that is sad but yes do not be too overly cautious as well like um, you know just create balance when it comes to that because some of you you have this very thick walls around you and I can't blame you because in your previous lifetime that that happened to you okay so yeah there's something around trust issues and then yeah, some of you also died in a ship. Maybe some of you have phobias when it comes to ships, okay, or bodies of water. Yeah, you got effortless, by the way. So, yeah, you know, um, you guys are very powerful. Um, keep doing what you're doing. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. Keep promoting peace into this world, especially if you are a person um, who's actually a psychic, a spiritual practitioner, um, doing divination, okay? A healer, keep doing that. Trust in your abilities, trust in yourself. Keep shining your light, okay? The world needs your light. And I'm getting the goosebumps. Okay, I should end here, okay? All right, thank you so much, group number two. I send you all the love and light. Bye-bye now. Last group, group number three, you chose the Dragon Cinnabar. Okay, so let's go uncover your past life lessons. And I'm going to pull four cards from this past life oracle deck since this is a general reading. Spare guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages. You have authority figures. Wow, you got father and you got wisdom again. Group two got wisdom, okay. And finally you got wars and battles, okay. You got justice and you got authority figures like a judge who knows but maybe you're a judge in your previous lifetime <laughs> wow amazing how it's all correlating you have strength seven of swords
Oops, a lot of cards. You have two of pentacles. Oh my gosh, you got three of swords, okay. You have Seven of Cups. I don't know why I'm here in China. This is weird. I'm really here in China. I don't know why, but oh well. I don't know. I'm here in China. He got the fool. Okay. Interesting for group number three. Because it's quite similar to group number one in such a way that the lesson had something to do with balance again. All right. I noticed that for this entire reading, especially for group one and group number three, there's a lesson when it comes to balance. Okay. And especially got the justice card over here. So in your previous lifetime, you might be uh, a person of authority. Okay. Authority figures is here. And you may be a father in your previous um, lifetime as well. Or, or there are some issues for not for some of you. Maybe it's an issue around father. Okay. And and then you also got wisdom. Then you got wars and battles. So maybe for some of you, you were uh, a soldier in your previous lifetime in which you also got killed. Okay. You were a very strong warrior. That's also what I'm picking up. For some of you, I'm actually hearing, yeah, China very strongly. I don't know why. But maybe uh, for some of you, I'm also picking up that you were a monk. Okay, although we don't have the monk cards here, but like what I said, you know, I do not base it on the cards. Sometimes I would actually hear it. So I'm picking up for some of you, you were actually a monk, okay? But there's something around balance. I'm also hearing that for some of you, you were actually a nomad. You've been traveling alone, going to different places. You don't have a permanent residence as well. Interesting. You are a person who loves to explore, who loves to experience new things. Maybe also in this current lifetime, that's also what you've been doing. For some of you, the reason why I got the justice, seven of swords, three of swords, and authority figures, there was something that happened to you in a previous lifetime that you felt that there was something unfair that occurred there was injustice that happened there were some lies deception because seven of swords talks about deception okay maybe there were some lies that were also said about you for some of you because this is talking about lies and it's like we're talking about the court here look at that authority figures and then you got the justice Either you were also a judge in a previous lifetime or there was an injustice that occurred for you, group number three, in a previous lifetime. With the wisdom, like what I said, you are a very powerful person okay you are a person who actually has a lot of wisdom about you probably in this current lifetime you also have this passion to teach some of you are probably also teachers or coaches or life coaches i'm hearing that because you actually have a lot of wisdom even in your previous lifetime I'm also picking up kind of like Victorian times. That's also what I'm getting for some of you. But I heard China. That's It's actually weird. I don't know why I heard China. I couldn't even connect it with the cards. But I heard China. 
I don't know if you are um, from China watching this. I don't know, but I heard that very strongly. <laughs> it's weird. But I'm also picking up a Buddhist monk. Okay, there you go. Yeah, because I actually also picked up, you know, a Buddhist monk in a previous lifetime who has a lot of wisdom. And again, balance is actually your lesson. That's also what I'm getting. So far, that's what I'm picking up. I also feel that for some of you um, with the father card, you have been having some issues with a father, okay? Either this is your karmic, you have a karmic relationship with your dad. That's also what I'm hearing for some of you. Not for all of you, okay? But there's that karmic relationship between a father. And I'm actually not picking up a woman. So maybe there's a guy watching this right now because I'm actually picking up a man okay so there's that father-son relationship that is very karmic oh boy okay I'm hearing that in a previous lifetime your father right now if you're a guy watching this your father right now you had a battle with the wars and battles in, in the war, there was something that happened between you and your father, okay? Either he got um, killed or he actually did something to you. Um, he was probably somebody who killed you in that lifetime. So there's that karmic relationship between a father and son. And he's actually your dad right now in this current lifetime. That's what I'm hearing. But in a previous lifetime, there was a war that happened. And he was the one who actually kind of like either he got killed by your father in that lifetime i mean in this lifetime he is your father but in that lifetime he wasn't your father but you were in a war with this person that's really what i'm hearing that was so strong and there's something about the finger i don't know i'm drawn to that finger so I don't know if you lost a finger. I'm actually hearing it, so it's weird. I don't know if I'm gonna say it or not, but I'm hearing like you lost a finger in a previous lifetime. What? I don't know, who knows, right? That's why whatever, whatever it is I'm hearing, I'm just gonna deliver it. But yeah, that's what I'm picking up. Let's see what else are we going to pull up here. Very interesting. I just love past life readings because there's a lot of information. Although it's very challenging to be quite honest because of the energy. You got king of earth. journey look at that wow i said right some of you are nomads okay all right interesting he got king of fire definitely you were a man <laughs> like what i said you were a man in a previous lifetime this is so interesting i love it okay thinker Emotional loss. Okay. 
This is so freaking weird. I can't make that up, guys. That's why I love to shuffle in front of the camera. Because look at this. He got Journey from two different decks. I can't believe that. That's what Spirit is trying to highlight as well. And then he also got the Birth and Babies card. Interesting. I love this reading. You have Goddess of the Moon. Wow, New Moon Promise. Wow, hold on, I got knocked over. All right, yeah, you got three cards. So let's see, you have you and your loved ones are safe. Bring love into the situation. Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, all right. So maybe some of you are actually Aquarius as well. That's what I'm hearing. And if you're a water sign, you're Cancer. And I'm also picking up Sagittarius for some of you. And Leo. Somebody's a Leo as well watching this. I don't know, I'm hearing it. But anyway, um, in your previous lifetime, group number three, just like what I said, for a lot of you, you were actually a nomad, okay? So there's no specific place um, that, like, you don't have a permanent residence basically um you are actually traveling you're going to different places and perhaps in this current lifetime that's also what you've been doing i'm also hearing for a lot of you you don't feel like you belong okay you don't feel like you belong and that is because um <laughs> In your previous lifetime, you don't have a specific place. You have been traveling. You have been, I'm also kind of like getting that spiritual journey as well. Like maybe in this current lifetime, you're also trying to seek out the truth. You are a person who wanted to learn a lot of things with the wisdom card over here. Because for some of you, you were also a spiritual person in a previous lifetime. But I'm more getting like a nomad kind of like energy in which you have been going to different places. Okay. And I feel that um, even in this current lifetime, that's what you've been doing. But some of you don't feel like you belong. Like maybe at times you would say to yourself, I don't feel like I belong here. I don't feel like I should be, you know, here. Like you're searching for uh, another place. That's what I'm getting. And then some of you are kind of like having a hard time. Like you don't know what your life purpose is. That's also what I'm hearing for some of you. You are a very logical person with a thinker here. You are a person who loves to think. You're very intellectual. But sometimes you feel like empty. I'm hearing emptiness. Like, yeah, you feel empty. Like you're disappointed with your current situation. Like you are aiming for something else. But sometimes you are in a situation which I don't know where what that is that I want I'm, I'm actually hearing that so I feel that your past life lesson group number three had something to do with yeah kind of like first just go with the flow that's also what I'm getting at the same time the lesson for you is that keep going like do things differently um, some of you are scared that maybe um, whatever it is that you're doing right now, maybe it's not really meant for you. Because I'm hearing more of like a life purpose. Some of you are probably doing um, a job that you're not particularly happy with. And I feel that for a lot of you, you are seeking for something else. And that was because in your previous lifetime, you were also a very um, spiritual person too, just like group number two. A spiritual person, somebody who has a lot of wisdom. I'm getting that very... Um, yeah, powerful individual who wants to seek out a lot of knowledge or information. And I feel that 
you are kind of like feeling that you don't know where you're going. That's what I'm hearing right now. Like you don't know where you're going. You don't know um, if this is what you should be doing. I'm actually hearing somebody's feeling lost. Okay, not for all of you, but somebody needed to hear that. So spirit is actually saying your past life lesson is do things differently. You don't have to be with the crowd. Do things in a different way. Follow your own journey. Okay, do not follow what other people want wanted for you. Okay, that's what I'm actually hearing. Okay, and I'm also picking up that some of you are actually you know feeling because. You got the Five of Cups here, all right? You have the Five of Cups, which talks about disappointments, frustrations, and disappointments. Um, I feel that sometimes you feel that you're so vulnerable, okay? You feel that you're actually weak. That's also what I'm getting. So I feel the past life lesson for you as well is, yeah, Kind of like just balance, you got to think or balance your emotions and your logic. And it's not true that you're actually weak, okay? That's also what I'm hearing. You're not weak because sometimes you might, you know, feel as if I'm so vulnerable or I don't want to show my true feelings because that's a sign of weakness. Because I notice you have a very dominant cards over here, King of Fire and King of Earth, or somebody who's actually not dominant with the king of earth but more of the king of fire but very powerful figures you have the authority figure so i feel that some of you are struggling when it comes to emotions as well you have been trying to act tough all the time that's also what i'm hearing for some of you you needed to act tough but it's okay to feel vulnerable. It's okay to cry. It's okay to feel, you know, bad or sad at times. But just make sure it's balanced, that there's a balance of logic and heart. That's also what I'm hearing. Yeah, because with the goddess of the moon, a lot of you guys are in this energy of, I don't know where I should be. I don't know if this is what I should be doing. That's what I'm hearing. Like somebody's actually asking about a life purpose. Because a lot of you probably are doing something that you're not partic particularly happy with. Okay, so spirit is saying, follow your passion, just like the king of fire. What are you passionate about? And go for that instead of doing what the crowd is doing. Okay, it is okay to be a black sheep. That's what I'm hearing, too. You don't have to follow what everything else is, or everybody else rather is doing. Okay, because in your previous lifetime, all right, you are a person who is a go-getter. You're a very powerful authority figure, whether you're a judge or a king, whatever that is, or a person with authority, okay? A high priest, maybe, for some of you. So it doesn't matter what the lessons um, for you, or, or the lessons for you, group number three, is that just follow what your passion is, or where your your passion is, um, or your heart is telling you to do. That's really what I'm getting. Because some of you are feeling as if you are lost, okay? Like, this is not what I should be doing. I don't feel good right now. I don't feel good where I am right now. Some of you are feeling as if even the place or the environment, like, I don't feel at home. That's also what I'm hearing. Wow. I'm hearing a lot of information for group number three. Like, you don't feel comfortable in your current environment. Sometimes it would feel as if this is not where I should be. It's like, a, you know, a person is trying to do some soul searching. Like, you're searching for something. <laughs> Okay, I'm also hearing right now that in this current lifetime, you're probably a person who is very much overwhelmed by a lot of responsibility. Maybe there's a lot of duties or a lot of responsibilities on your back, okay? 
And that was because even in your previous lifetime, you were a person of authority. So a lot of people are depending on you. Okay, you're a very powerful individual. But some of you are kind of like very much overwhelmed. Some of you are overwhelmed when it comes to emotions because you feel as if you're vulnerable. Okay, or you're weak. That's also what I'm hearing. But yeah, for majority of you, the lesson for you is to actually follow what your heart is telling you, where your passion is. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. In order for you to find where you should be, because some of you are feeling very much, you know, disappointed, like you have this energy of I don't like what I'm doing right now. Is this really what I should be doing? That's what I'm actually picking up for a lot of you. Group number three. And Spirit is saying, yeah, just keep going. Go with the journey and, and also follow your passion. If you're actually trying to look for your life purpose, I feel your life purpose had something to do with teaching. That's really what I'm getting. Teaching, imparting your knowledge. There's something about wisdom for a lot of you because you're a very logical person, okay? Some of you also love traveling, okay? Even in this current lifetime. Because in your previous lifetime, I'm also, like what I said, I'm picking up a nomad, okay? Or a gypsy or a nomad, a person who doesn't have a specific place. Um, you've been traveling, okay? But I'm also hearing balance for you. That's also your lesson, past life lesson. Balance your logic and your heart, okay? Okay, I'm hearing right now some of you, and I'm picking up a guy right now who needed to hear this. You might be a person who doesn't want to feel vulnerable, or you're having a hard time expressing your feelings. Um, because you were actually brought up in a family in which you were taught that men should not cry, okay? I'm hearing that. That's very specific. That's very random. So that's not going to resonate for all of you, but somebody needed to hear that. And Spirit is saying, no, it's not a sign of a weakness. It's a sign of being authentic, okay? So I'm actually hearing more of like a lesson of try to unlearn some things that were conditioned to you as well. Yeah. And, you know, there's a saying like maybe it's not about becoming someone. All right. There's a saying around that. Sometimes it's the other way around, okay? Um, instead of becoming someone... You can actually um, apply unbecoming and just be real, be true to who you are. That's what I'm hearing actually for group number three as well. Okay, I'm hearing as well for again, for group number three, I am picking up an energy of a lot of you guys are actually trying to find your life purpose, really. Um, you have a lot of dreams, but there's a lot of frustration. There's a lot of disappointments, like you're not happy with how things are turning out for you. Some of you, you are so intellectual that there's a lot of things that you can actually do, but you're having a hard time concentrating on what you should be doing. Somebody needed to hear that too. Again, what spirit is actually saying is that you need to follow what your heart is telling you. Follow your passion, okay? If you're wondering what is your life purpose. So a lot of group number three are actually trying to search for their life purpose, where they should be, or they don't feel that they belong. 
I'm also hearing for group number three that there was some karmic relationships. Again, especially with a father. Like, there was a father, you know, issue here. Just like group number one. There's a father... Yeah, a father issue. And I'm picking up a father and a son. Because in the previous lifetime, this person who's your father in this current lifetime is actually... Um, yeah, somebody had uh, a battle with. That's really what I'm getting. Okay, and the last message I'm hearing, because Spirit is saying that's it. All right, the last message I'm hearing right now from Spirit is that a lot of you are actually very hardworking individuals, okay? Um, you have a lot of dreams. You are a person with a lot of responsibilities, maybe, okay? Or you feel needed. I'm hearing that. You feel needed because there's a lot of people relying on you, maybe. Ask for advice. Whatever it is that you're doing. Um, because you're very reliable and dependable. What Spirit is saying, again, balance, because that's also your lesson. Number two, I'm actually hearing taking good care of your own needs first. That's really what I'm hearing. Try to take good care of your own needs first. Make sure that you take good care of yourself first. Because maybe some of you guys, you have been doing a lot of things for other people all the time and you're neglecting yourself. Okay, last message. Oh, God, there's a lot of message for group number three. This is weird. And then I'm still drawn to that father because I'm hearing like somebody had a oh, daddy issue. And I don't know, maybe this is a current lifetime, but I'm picking up a guy. Actually, I'm not picking up a woman. I know majority of my viewers are women, but I'm actually picking up a guy. Like, you have an issue with your dad in which you felt as if your dad wasn't there for you growing up. Like, your dad... I don't know, this is weird why I'm hearing it. Like, your dad you know, was not responsible or has not been there for you. Like you felt that your father left you behind and it's like you needed guidance. I'm hearing the word guidance, like you're asking for guidance from your dad, but he wasn't there for you. And I'm hearing you felt helpless. Some of you were actually in this energy of feeling like a victim again or kind of like very vulnerable, very weak. You felt helpless. Get out of that energy. That's what Spirit is saying. Do not look at yourself that way, okay? Be the king of fire or the king of earth. Somebody's very grounded, okay? Very balanced. Somebody's very courageous who knows what you need to do or what you want in life. Because I feel for group number three, a lot of you are confused. A lot of you are like, you know, doesn't know where you should be, okay? Because the king of fire is an energy who knows what he wants, okay? He knows what to do with his life. He's very decisive. Go for that. Go for that energy. That's what spirit is saying. And they're also wanting for you to release any past hurts. That's what I'm hearing too. Because maybe because of, you know, the pain, the hurt. Um, some of you felt as if there was something that is unfair that happened to you. Okay. Because I also noticed for group three's reading, there's um, an energy around, yeah, like there's an imbalance or something is unfair. So what spirit is actually saying, okay, try to release past hurts, okay? Make sure that, you know, you are also in control of your emotions in a healthy and positive way. Try to balance, again, balance. Okay, I'm also hearing some of you are actually scared of falling in love. 
Oh boy, a lot of messages for group number three. I thought that was the last one, but I'm again hearing like somebody is actually scared when it comes to falling in love, giving themselves, giving their feelings to someone. So maybe you try to act tough, okay? Or you're trying to avoid when it comes, yeah, somebody's trying to avoid their emotions. I don't know. That's really what I'm hearing so far. I'm going to stop there. <laughs> Group number three. Gosh, you're reading. It has a lot of messages, but I'm particularly drawn to that father. I don't know. There's something about that father issue. Somebody really needed to hear that, okay? So there's a karmic relationship or cycle between you and your father. Um, forgiveness is also what I'm hearing. So try to forgive, okay? Release past hurts. Try to release that. To not be in the victim energy as well, which is weird because kind of like similar to group number one. Group two's reading is totally different. And just keep going for your passion, okay? Keep going for your passion, where your passion lies, where your heart, you know, is leading you. That's also what I'm actually saying. Some of you, you don't have to be yourself to be, you know, somebody who's weak or vulnerable. Just make sure your emotions are balanced and your logic as well, okay? All right, there you go. So, yeah, there you go, group number three. What a reading. A lot of messages. So, I hope you enjoyed this, this fun past life reading. And I hope you picked up some lessons from it. I'll see you again on the next Vicky card. Bye-bye, guys.